business podcast that gives you more than you bargained for with our daily 10-minute business lessons for the real world. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. You can check out some of our freebies, our free courses, our free guides, our blog over at 100mba.net. And today's episode is a must-read episode where I share with you the insights of a book that I've read and share with you why you should read it and how it's influenced me as an entrepreneur and influenced our business and how it can influence you as well. Today's must-read is Essentialism by Greg McEwen. There are very few books that can have a profound change in your business and your life. Essentialism is one of those books. This is one of the best books that I've read this year. I'm so excited to share with you some of the insights that I've learned, as well as how it's changed the way we run our business. Yes, it is that powerful. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into this episode. So let's get down to business. Today's episode of the $100 MBA show is sponsored by Xero, spelt X-E-R-O. Xero is an online accounting software and platform for your small business. With Xero, it doesn't matter if your business is a brick and mortar or a online one. That's because Xero is born in the cloud and built in the cloud. This means you can manage your accounting anytime, anywhere from your Mac, PC, iOS, or Android device. You can sign up for a free 30-day trial at Xero.com slash podcasts and start managing your invoicing and get paid faster. And not only that, Zero randomly selects five people a month who've signed up to receive a mystery box of goodies from Zero, plus from a company that already swears by Zero. So get started with their free 30-day trial at zero.com slash podcasts. Before I get into the insights of Greg McEwen's book, Essentialism, and what it's all about, I want to talk a little bit about Greg himself. Greg is actually a really good author. He's a really good writer. When you read a lot of books, you really appreciate when a book is really well-written and also well-researched. To be quite honest, it was very hard for me to put this book down. Every single insight, every single chapter was profound. So I got to tip my hat to Greg and uh, tell him he did a great job with this. I've also reached out to Greg to be a guest teacher here on The $100 MBA Show, and he's agreed. So he's going to be a guest teacher on the show in a future episode. We're just coordinating things right now. So look out for that. All right, so let's get into this book. What is essentialism really? What is it all about? Now, the subtitle of this book is The Disciplined Pursuit of Less. Now, this is not some kind of woo-woo, self-helpy book that's talking about some way to kind of have peace and calm in your life without really doing much. This is actually a huge mind shift and mindset for not only you personally, but for your business. And it's all about acknowledging the fact you cannot do everything. That's very contrary to a lot of high achievers. And this book is really for people that are hungry and are looking to better themselves. And I know that everybody who listens to the show is that kind of person. So this book is going to speak directly to you. So for most of us, I know I have for a very long time, I think I could do everything. You know, I'll get it all fit in. And that makes you efficient. That makes you, you know, a productivity whiz. Now, what Essentialism teaches is that you simply can't do everything very well. And it's also not healthy. You can't do this on yourself physically, emotionally, mentally. You need to allow yourself to focus on certain areas that really matter. And that's the next point of essentialism. It forces the idea that not everything is critical. Not everything is essential. Not everything is super important. There are a few things that are very important in your business, in your life, in your relationships. All these areas can incorporate this concept of essentialism. Now, essentialism starts with a very powerful concept. When you decide that, hey, I don't need to do every single thing under the sun in my business. I don't need to you know, explore every single thing and I don't need to make everything happen. I just need to do the important things. It empowers you with this amazing feeling of choice. Now you get to choose what's important. You get to analyze your options and say, I will work on this and focus on this. You also get to learn how to discern what's unimportant. What's unimportant in your business? What's unimportant in your life? How can you remove these distractions, these things that are holding you back and being like a backpack filled with stones or rocks, right, that are holding you down and weighing you down? 
and slowing you down. So what can you cut off from your business to make things a lot easier and a lot more comfortable? He then goes in and talks about trade-offs. When you acknowledge the fact that you can't do everything and you can't do everything well, then you're going to have to make some trade-offs. You have to choose what's most important and decide that, hey, I'm going to stand my ground and say, these things are not most important. I will not do this. Instead, I will do this. Now, I'm going to give you some solid examples of these points. And these examples come from our own business. This forced us to think about Webinar Ninja, our webinar platform, our software company completely differently. When you have software, you're going to get lots of feedback from your customers, but not all feedback is equal. We had to focus on our mission, which is to create effective webinars easily, to be able to do that easily. So we took a look at all the feedback we got from our customers and said, what areas are going to help that mission and what areas are not. And the vast majority of the things that we got were not in line with the mission. So they're not all priorities and they're not all important. So we had to toss those aside and say, right now we can't focus on them. Right now we focus on these areas and nail them and improve the software in these ways. This was extremely liberating. It made us feel like, wow, we're in control and we know what we need to do. We acknowledge the feedback from our customers, but at the same time, we let them know that these are our priorities right now. And a funny tidbit that he adds in this book when he talks about priorities, the word priorities didn't exist before the 1950s. It was only priority in terms of one, singular, because you really only have one priority. If you have two, three, four, it's not a priority anymore. So that was very interesting to read. He also talks about the importance of different aspects of your life that will help you focus on the important things, including your health, your sleep, the way you play, the way you enjoy things, and how you select the way you use your time. One of my favorite parts of this book is titled Eliminate, and it talks about how to have a clear vision and eliminate the things that are not in line with that vision. He then moves on and talks about how to execute some of the things that you need to do in your business and in your life. He talks about how to manage that in terms of having a buffer of time, how to expect struggles and how to expect roadblocks along the way, and how to focus on the task at hand, what's important right now. I think that Greg did an absolutely amazing job with this book because it allows you to think differently about what it means to be efficient, what it means to be an expert, a master. If you look at somebody who's great at what they do, or a business that's great at what they do, they focus on one major aspect of that business and they just nail it. They do that thing very well because they've decided that that thing is essential and everything else is not. A good example of this is Twitter. Now, Twitter could have done a whole bunch of things to be similar to Facebook, to compete with Facebook, but they said, no, we're not like Facebook. We're about 140 characters. We're about short discussions and we're also about just being mobile friendly. We're built for the mobile device. Most people use Twitter on their phone and not a computer browser, and that's by design. They focused on certain things and they just implemented on those things because those things were essential and they defined what's essential. I'm sure they got a lot of feedback about how to do things differently, but they said, nope, that's not what we're doing. That's not essential. Guys, I highly, highly recommend you pick up Essentialism by Greg McEwen. You can pick up the book with a link that we provided in today's show notes. If you're on your iPhone, you just click on the cover art. You'll see our show notes. If you're on your computer or any other browser, just go to 100mba.net slash mba310. Guys, I got one more insight I want to share with you. But before that, I got to give love to today's sponsor, Zero. X-E-R-O. Zero is beautiful accounting software built to help small businesses like yours be more productive and successful. What I love about Zero is that it's easy to use. Software has to be easy to use or you're not going to use it, especially accounting software. You can send invoices, online quotes to your customers, pay your employees, manage your cash flow, expenses, and even your inventory with Zero. Zero is in the cloud, so you can access and manage all your business accounting on the go. Zero does what desktop software does and more. Plus, you can use it anywhere at any time from your mobile device. I love this because you could be out on the town, you're running errands, you're at a conference, you're traveling, and you need to send an invoice to a customer. You need to get paid instantly online, and you can do it on your phone with Zero. So sign up for their free 30-day trial at zero.com slash podcasts. That's X-E-R-O dot com slash podcasts with an S. Zero beautiful accounting software built to help small businesses be more productive and successful. 
Check out their free 30-day trial today at zero.com slash podcasts. I want to give you a piece of advice when you read this book, Essentialism. It's really helpful to jot down some notes as you're reading it. That could be on your phone or uh, in a Word doc or on a piece of paper. But the point here is, is that he's going to be talking about a lot of things that are going to be important to you and your business, and you want to write down how it relates to you. What are some of the things that he's talking about that you can do and implement right away? And when you have them down, you write them down, they become real and they become fresh in your mind and you can refer to them later on. I also want to make it very clear, no matter what your personality is, your beliefs, your faith, essentialism is not some sort of cult, it's a way of thinking, it's a mindset and it's also a way of doing business. So it's compatible with any lifestyle that you have or choose to live. I can't recommend this highly enough. Pick up the book and thank me later and look out for Greg McEwen's guest teacher lesson coming up soon here on The Hunter LBA Show. All right, guys, that wraps up today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, guys, Fridays here on the Hunter LBA Show is Free Ride Friday. If you drop us an iTunes rating and review, give us a rating and a review, and you enter our weekly random draw automatically every week, we give away a lifetime membership to the Hunter LBA training and community. That's over 180 video lessons, workbooks. You can ask questions anytime. Our Facebook group, private Facebook group, where everybody's helping each other out, a whole lot more. And we give away a free ride every single week. It's our way to say thank you for all the amazing reviews you guys give us. If you're